What's going on guys and welcome to another video. I got a partner today and that's Ryland. So today is daddy day. My wife and I, we try to be pretty intentional with our kids. Of course, we're always spending time with them. We're always hanging out and just trying to be with them, but it gets so busy. We've got four kids. I got three boys and I just had my baby girl Aspen. And so we do something called daddy day where I just spend one-on-one -on -one time with with one of my sons and it usually starts around two or three years old so here in like a year and a half aspen will have daddy day and that's just something we do so i let them pick what do you want to do and within reason we do it we're usually not spending a bunch of money at all it's just something outdoors or i don't know what it is it's always different every time it's different sometimes it's pickleball or whatever this time we are fishing at the skyway you excited buddy yeah and we're spending the night. This is something I used to do with my grandfather, my dad. We used to come out here with like 20 Filipinos deep, bring the rice cooker. So we're kind of recreating some of these memories for me and I'm able to build them with my son. We also have other videos on the YouTube channel about uh, fishing at the Skyway, but we're actually gonna spend a night, fish through the night, we're gonna have dinner, we're gonna have breakfast, and it's just gonna be a great time. So enough talking, let's flip this camera, let's set up and let's go fishing. too much, okay? okay. So I'll let you try. Yep. Jeez, you got the biggest one. Oh, they're gonna be happy. Yeah. Well, I guess they're cute. Put it right here. Like that. Boom. Nice. Cool. Are both of our seats back there? Yep. You wanna grab my chair? You can stick your hand in there, or I brought this net. Okay. So, careful for the uh, thing in there. That. Don't you break them in half? No, no, use them live. Here, I'm gonna show you how to hook them once, okay? Okay. You're gonna hook them through the tail. Okay. Like that. And then come over here. Always look before crossing because people are crazy over here. Remember how to cast, right? Okay, then you're just gonna cast out far. While Rylan's fishing, I'm gonna give you a little tour of our setup today. So we got the camping hand washing station here, fresh water. This is where we're gonna grill up our steaks and our corn. We're gonna do our fried rice here tonight. We got our cooking supplies back there. What else we got? What's up, bro? Got the bait right there, the shrimp hooked up to the Dakota Lithium Power Box. We caught all these like we do um, by our house, the filler crabs. We got the cooler full of steak and just sausage and all kinds of stuff going on in there. Just a bunch of random fishing supplies. You got some, bud? Oh, no? Uh, no? Okay. We got our chair set up and the rods. We're in for a, for a full night. And then inside the truck, we're going to recline the seats back. We got our drinks. We got our pillows, we got a fan, and we got a light for when it gets dark. Oh, one of the most important things, bait towel. Right. So here we've got the shrimp, and we're gonna get on. Oh, 
Nice. Come on, bud. Slow, slow, easy, easy. Got him. See him. Sheep's head. Bring him up. Uh, sheep's head. It's a grunt. Oh, it looks like a sheep's head. Come on, bring it up, up, over, over. Sweet. Hey, good job, bud. You gonna take the hook out? Oh, he unhooked uh, himself. Yeah. Nice. Hey, do you want garlic powder on your uh, corn? Doing all right? Yep. So when you had to move the cooking station in here, so that big storm right there just passed us. It's pretty much getting past us. So I had to move the cooking station to inside, which don't necessarily uh, always recommend that, but it's what we got to do right now. Ryan's getting beat up by the wind. Let's go! You got one? Did it get off? Ah! Oh. Well, you can see over here how windy it is. Hey, good times. You'll catch another one, okay? We got one filet mignon coming your way, sir. Woo! And we got two. Got a bunch of beef tips. What do you think, bud? Update, we just got hit with some rain. Uh, not too bad, so we got the fried rice going again, just simple. We got the egg, soy sauce, sesame oil, and then we've got the steaks going right here. Let's go. Okay, soy sauce man, go ahead. All around, all around, all around. That up. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, you can. The, if the uh, weather holds up. Hey, bud. Hi. Want a little bit of steak while you wait? Sure. It's looking good in here. Turn that off and let this cool down. Like that. We're gonna make room for some fried rice. Here we are, not bad for the Skyway. <laughs> what do you think, bud? So it's pretty windy out here. You wanna just eat in the truck? All right, let's go. I'll follow you. Okay. 
Can I put my plate over there? So this reminds me of just being out there with my, my dad and my grandparents and my family. You just cook out, you know? Just because you're out here doesn't mean you can't prepare. Get you a little gas stove, a little propane, whatever you got. You'll be able to cook up some uh, good meals. So we marinated this steak and then this was leftover rice. So I just decided to make fried rice and we had corn. Um, no veggies in this, didn't have any laying around, but an egg, just some seasoning. And we're gonna eat and then bud. We gotta get to fishing, okay? Lift it over, over. It's okay. Just lift it over as quickly as you can so that in case they do fly off, they fly off here. Good job. So now you know how to use this, right? You remember what it's called? Uh, well, we're catching greenbacks, but do you remember what type of bait we're using? Sabiki. This is called a sabiki. All right, keep after it, bud. What a beautiful view. Skyway over there starting to get lit up. Nice. Yeah, put it back on at the bottom. It broke off. Aha, uh -huh, it broke off, bud. It was something, huh? I think it crossed my line over here. Got it. So these ones you have to be a little bit more delicate with. So go ahead and lean that against the edge. Because uh, they'll die if you're too rough with them. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. Will you cast it so I don't? We're gonna hook them through the nose. Okay. See, like that. <laughs> do you want me to cast it or you wanna cast it? Um, I want you to cast it so I don't lose it. Okay. okay, let me tighten some of these down. So the update is, it's a slow night. We've basically just been the bait masters over here, catching a bunch of bait, but having fun doing it. We had dinner and uh, we're full. We're having some desserts, having some cookies and from Publix, Publix cookies. And probably gonna crack open my favorite root beer of all time. That's a boiling root beer. So oh, it's like 9.30, almost 10 o'clock. We're just gonna keep riding out this tide and it's starting to switch and it's, gonna, it's starting to head that way. So soon uh, we're gonna switch sides, just keep catching bait and uh, see see what bites. I've gotten a few bites that's taken our, our line off, but nothing stuck. So we there's a guy, yeah, go we ahead. We found this, or so like, we casted one and like maybe like 30 minutes later, there's like a fish like this big. Oh, but it came off, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, it's okay. Can we take them off for you? Yeah. All right, do you want to use a whole one or a half one? Oh. Okay. You got some? No. Let's see. Nope. Uh, oh. No. All right, just keep it up and take off the shrimp. I'll get a green back for you. Okay. Right now, we're just catching bait. <laughs> the very bottom. Huh? Ooh, one for you? Here you go. Yeah, refrigerator doesn't do it. It's gotta be ice cold. There you go, cheers. Cheers, the top, there you go. Shrimp? Shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Uh, before I came here. Oh, is that a store here? Uh, in St. Pete. Really? Yeah, St. Pete, yeah. Close? Alright. No, it's like 30 minutes. 
Did you? They might have shrimp at the bait shop. Really? Mm-hmm. Maybe. I hope we see it. Oh, uh, did you ask? Did you ask? No, I did the first time, sir. So. Yeah, you gotta go to the bait shop. They might have shrimp. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Had one. Huh? Yeah. Line facing the line. Okay. I showed you this before, right? Mm -hmm. Can you grab it? Like that. Yes. And then go back through. Yes. This way? Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. What? Let's try and get a pinfish so we can put it on the big rod. Oh, what you got? Got him. <laughs> Here, bring him over. Flip him over. So you can see. Here, let me see. Hang on. Grips once I get this off. Here, put your grips in his mouth. You got it? Clamp mm -hmm. it? It's clamped. Okay, hang on. Sweet, bud. Look at that. Kind of fish. That's pretty sweet. And you're using your grips? Yeah. What are you going to do with them? Let them go? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Yeah. Come on. Oh, don't step on the rod. Okay. Nice. Good job, bud. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> you try to trick me? You try to trick me? You got one for real? Oh, you're pretending. Oh, careful. Let's make mommy happy and, uh, no, drink some water and, um, brush our teeth. Yeah. How on the land do they brush their teeth? <laughs> they provided one, I think. Face the camera like this. <laughs> hmm. There's a hole. And then drink the rest of your water. Get some water in your system, okay? You found the bait. Let me see. Nice. You got two. Yeah. Let's get it on the pole. We've done all the dishes. We've brushed our teeth. We kind of have camp a little <laughs> packed up right now. So the grill's done. It's clean. It's ready for breakfast. The other little grill's done, ready for the eggs in the morning. And I'm just going to start to kind of put the big bins away so we can sleep in the car and have no problems there. This is what it's all about, right, buddy? Mm -hmm. Untangling lines. Yeah. Hey, uh, okay, there's one, kind of. Do you have 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, stay right there, okay? It's about 12, 23 uh, in the morning. Buddy, you made it to midnight. <laughs> and uh, Ryland found out there's a 24 hour bait shop here. So we're gonna show him what's inside. I remember the days of me and my cousins running down this pier and uh, just wanting to go hang out in the bait shop and see what's down there. So I'm gonna let you see what's in there. I gotta warn you, it's a whole lot of nothing, okay? okay. It's a bunch of things we're probably not gonna buy because it's overpriced. <laughs> but if there's something you need, like some frozen bait and stuff like that, they got it if you're in a pinch. So that's a plus. And it'll give us a little something to do to kill some time. It's slack tide right now. Really nothing much is happening. So. We're probably just going to go check out the bait shop and then sleep until the sun comes up. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, they're out of bait. So we can see they got ice cream. Oh wait, this is frozen bait. And we got some more frozen bait. Got some hats in case it's hot. Ice, hats, they got a little bit of candy, some chicken cup soup, Slim Jims, yep, I don't think they've done any renovations here since I've been a kid, buddy. They got the uh, coffee section, some weights, and then an empty bait tank. Did right, you see what you needed to see? <laughs> cool. So here's where we're at. It's 12.39. Good night, buddy. I'm not going to sleep. You're not going to sleep? Nope. He's got his pillow. We got a fan running back here. We've got one shade protector here because this is mainly where people are walking. And then we have some windows cracked. And we're going to turn this car off and just basically run off that AC, okay? I mean, off that fan. It's like 83 degrees out, but it's nighttime and we'll have some wind come in. So. If at any point we get hot, we'll just turn on the car. Yeah. Sounds good? I love you, buddy. You having fun? Yeah. All right, good night. Good night. Well, I thought we were going to sleep, there, but no, somebody no, 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 wants to watch Mr. Beast. So I put my phone up here. When I give you the $10,000 like this, you have there to let go. me take one item from this bill. Oh, oh no. Oh, All right, for a little bit. Morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How'd you sleep? I did not sleep good. <laughs> yeah, I had to move to the back, bud, because my back was hurting. I'm not 16 anymore. Good morning. It was a little bit of a rough night for me. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I was up probably every 30 minutes, every 40 minutes. Um, just trying to get comfortable. I did turn the car on a few times to get some AC rolling. Um, it was getting pretty hot. Jeez. And, um, yeah, didn't really get too much sleep last night and super uncomfortable laying in that chair. So I moved to the back. That was a little bit more comfortable, but hey, memories, right, buddy? All right, you want to do some fishing? Yeah. And then a little bit, we'll make some breakfast? Yeah. All right. Oh. That's what we're looking for. That's exactly what we're looking for, buddy. Fish? Yeah, we're gonna throw this on the, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Can I use it? Uh, let's put it on the big rod. Okay. Hey, just let your bait sit on the very bottom, all right? Yeah, but Hmm. This morning for breakfast, we're having apple gouda uncured sausage. 
right here. Then we're gonna toast up some sourdough bread on the grill. And then we've got our eggs from home right here. What's that from? Remember that day when you got a hundred dollars and you and you were like, how can you get the hundred dollars? And you're like, okay, um, guess the number between one, one and ten, or I mean one and five, and um, we were like three, and you're like correct, and then and then you're like, I'll give you. Oh yeah, a hundred bucks. Why don't you add some pepper to these eggs? Got the eggs, sausage going, and we're heating up some toast. Buddy, we got some butter in here if you want. Put the butter on top of the um, cooler. Okay. And then we got some bananas too. Morning. Did y'all catch? Did y'all catch yet? No? Not sure if you guys would be interested, but we made too much breakfast. Y'all hungry? Oh, we got breakfast on the Do ya? Mike, you want some breakfast? They made too much. <laughs> yeah, come on. We made good food out here. Last night we had filet mignon. Oh, nice. <laughs> Got some uh, apple gouda sausage. That was terrible. I'll get it anyway, though. <laughs> I will choke it down somehow, sir. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Enjoy, bro. Come on, burn that pickle. Pickle's gonna have. What's he? <laughs> Let's finish our breakfast, huh? Hungry still? Mm -hmm. Hey, you gotta eat at least one banana, okay?
already a banana? Huh? You already ate a banana? Yes. Um, maybe a little bit for breakfast. You want to fish a little bit? You can do for breakfast. Now when you have kids, you gotta do the same thing, okay? Bring them out here and cook some good food for them, all right? Mm -hmm. mm. What's your favorite part about breakfast? Um, mm -hmm. well, which, what on your plate is your favorite? Um, probably the toast. The toast? Nice. Not these baby bananas? <laughs> yeah. Rye Rye's on. Nice. Oh, you're beating me. Three to two. Yes. <laughs> awesome. This is how you know you're ready to leave. <laughs> Look, I put like five shrimp on there. <laughs> All right, go use up the rest of your shrimp. <clears throat> well, if you've uh, watched my videos before, you know that I like coming out here to the Skyway. As I said before, I used to do this a lot with my family. And fishing out here, you know, sometimes you're on them. Like we've had great days out here catching Spanish mackerel and all, all types of stuff and little groupers and different things. Some people are catching grouper over there, but really it's just more the experience of just hanging out, cooking, just chilling, sitting, you know, drinking a soda in a bottle. It's, it's really about that for me. I mean, at the Skyway, it's gonna be hit or miss it's either it's gonna be on or it's gonna be off and uh, yesterday and this morning it's off it's not by any means on no one was really catching one guy caught a 22 inch grouper and that's about it yesterday that's pretty much all the action that I heard of so this trip was definitely you know in terms of fishing not a big day for fishing now if you've never been out here, I encourage you to come out here because look at all this fishing. And they got the North Pier too, um, on the other side of the Skyway. So you're going to have days that it's on fire and you're going to have days that it's not on fire. But for me, it's just setting up, cooking, grilling, that whole thing. That's what I really enjoy doing. And in this case, catching fish, even though it's a little pinfish with my son, that, I mean, that's a, that's a huge win and plus for me. Now, with that being said, <laughs> I still gotta go hit the mangroves and uh, catch me some snook and redfish and I'll be doing that shortly. So I appreciate you guys watching this video and hanging out with me. If you like videos like this, I'm trying to do more chill videos like this. You know, I'm not really into the big production stuff anymore. I just like to do things I like for the sake of doing things I like and uh, bringing you guys along. So let me know if that works for you guys. I appreciate you guys, buddy. Here, say bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Remember that tiny trick? Is that bait? In the water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to get out and look? Sure. Before we go, we found this big pile of bait. And I'm just going to show Rye how fast we could catch these guys. Man, they are everywhere. It's turned into catching bait for next time. Go ahead, pour it in. Alright, right, keep getting more water. So we'll freeze this and keep it in the deep freezer. Yeah, we, at least we have something to start, right? Here, you go, I'll drop them in.
bring our bait towel over, and then lock this up. Free bait, right? 